Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Faculty of Education Forum on Filipino Women Leaders in STEM Education. I am Bianca Veluz and I, from the Faculty of Education, and I am your host for today's forum. Before we formally begin, we would like to recognize the presence of our guests, participants, and those who are watching us from the UPOU Network's Facebook page, website, and YouTube channel. Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. In line with the 2023 Women's Month celebration, the Faculty of Education holds this forum entitled Filipino Women Leaders in STEM Education. This forum aims to serve as an avenue to share, ask, and contribute to the meaningful discussions about opportunities and challenges encountered by Filipino women as they prosper in, STEM, in their STEM, STEM careers. If you have any questions during the discussion, feel free to send them through the chat boxes at the UPOU Network's Facebook page, website, and YouTube channel. To formally begin the forum, forum let us please call in Dr. Fina Flor Thailand, the Director of the Office of Gender Concerns, to deliver the opening remarks. Dr. Thailand is joining us via Zoom. Women Leaders in STEM Education, organized by the Faculty of Education led by its Dean, Charisse Reyes, who is also a leader in education in STEM, in line with the University's month-long celebration of Women's Month. I am delighted to be part of the initiatives of our various units in UPOU led by the faculties of studies, just like FED, for our women and gender advocacy in the university. Similar to my message yesterday on our forum on women in tech startups led by uh, FMDS, I would like to share my thought that it is not sufficient to provide opportunities for women's participation in unconventional fields such as in STEM, but we should be able to also respond and remove the barriers that hinder women's full participation and for the fulfillment of their potentials and sometimes their invisibility in these fields. FED has invited four competent women leaders in STEM education who will share their experiences as women, educators, and leaders in a previously unconventional path for women like STEM. I'm excited to hear about their perspectives and journey uh, on what they and other women in this field have brought to the table and how can this contribute to shaping the discourse in our education sector inspiring other women and maybe people with diverse saw GSC to tread paths based on their aspirations, not based on, on the society's norms. For sure, you are as eager as I, as I am to begin listening to and joining in the discussion. <laughs> which for sure will help us reflect and think beyond. Thank you and congratulations in advance to Fed and its dean for this initiative. I also saying hello to our university officials and partners and participants, and I'm welcoming you all to this forum. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Finaflor Thailand. Now, we'd like to call on as well, P Professor Pimo Gar Garcia for the welcoming remarks. Good afternoon. Uh, Professor Charis Reyes, Faculty of Education Dean, our resource persons, Director Lee, Lilia T. Habacon, Dr. Maricor N. Soriano, Dr. Edwina Eleanor S. Paderna, and Professor Rosana Marisi Amongo, OGC Director Dr. Fina Flor Thailand, Faculty of Education uh, staff, uh, other members of the UPOU community, <laughs> students, Online viewers, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Today we are faced with numerous challenges that uh, threaten our world's future from the ongoing issue of socioeconomic inequality to the looming threat of climate change. In the midst of these challenges, the world is turning to science and technology for solutions. Science, technology, engineering, and mathematics have played a critical role in human development. SNT have facilitated agricultural modernization 
industrial revolution, and information society's rise, leading to economic growth, increased literacy rates, and poverty reduction. The importance of SNT to society has led to the world's respect for scientists and technologies. However, the attention has traditionally focused on male scientists. If we look at the Nobel Prize, the highest accolade that scientists can receive for their work, the proportion of women awardees have all been low across the fields. 5.3% in physiology or medicine, 4.8% in chemistry, and 1.8% in physics. While the proportion of women recipients of the Philippine National Scientist Awards is relatively higher at 21%, it is still low considering that almost half of the country's female researchers are women. If we believe that SNT plays a critical role in making our country competitive, we need to increase women's participation in SNT and their influence in SNT policy and decision making. These policies should address broader issues such as science and math education, as well as sectoral issues like R&D and innovation systems. Furthermore, technologies are not neutral and can shape societies as much as societies shape them. Therefore, we need to open up conversations on the role of women in STEM and women users of technology to maximize their benefits. I am delighted that the UPOU Faculty of Education, uh, in cooperation with the Office of Gender Concerns, is taking the lead in starting these conversations through this forum. On that note, I would like to congratulate, congratulate the Faculty of Education, led by its Dean, Professor Charis Reyes, for initiating this activity. My sincere thanks also go to our resource persons for agreeing to be part of this continuing conversation. Muli, isang magandang hapon at maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Thank you, Professor Garcia. Without further ado, let me introduce our moderator, Assistant Professor Cherise Reyes. Assin Assistant Professor Reyes is currently serving as the Dean of the Faculty of Education. She will also officially op open the forum and will introduce our speakers. Uh, thank you, Bianca. In the age of hybrid forum, this is relatively more challenging than just uh, either an online forum or a face-to-face -face forum. Um, I'm very pleased to be um, hosting this event for, from the Faculty of Education uh, with four esteemed guests. Uh, allow me to introduce them. Uh, our first speaker is Dr. Uh, Director Lilia T. Habacon. Um, she's currently serving as the Executive Director of the Philippine Science High School System which supervises 16 campuses across the country. Uh, she has been in government service for 35 years as a university professor, an administrator, and a STEM education advocate. In 2020, she received the UP Los Baños College of Arts and Sciences Distinguished Alumni Awardee for Education Administration and Leadership. Uh, let's all welcome Director Lilia Dihabacon. Our second speaker is Dr. Maricor N. Soriano. She is a professor of physics at the University at UP National Institute of Physics, who specializes in developing hardware and software tools for video and e image processing. Her work spans multidisciplinary domains such as coral reef imaging, cultural heritage conservation, video analysis of sports, and uh, medical imaging. She was awarded the NRCP Outstanding Young Scientist in 2006, Third World Academy of Science Physics Prize recipient in 2009, and one of the Outstanding Women in the Nation's Service Award in Applied Physics in 2013. Let us all welcome Dr. Maricor and Soriano. Our third speaker is Dr. Rosana Marie C. Amongo. Uh, she is the first female dean of the College of Engineering and Agro-Industrial Technology of UP Los Baños. She is, the f uh, she is currently a professor at the Department of Agricultural Machinery and Power Engineering Division, where she served as, um, as the director as well uh, a few years ago. Um, she is currently serving as, the, uh, as a member of the Bids and Awards Committee. Not many of us would like to be part of that committee of the UP system for a while. Um, 
She is also she also received the 2019 Sayat Outstanding Researcher Award as well as the 2020 Sayat or College of Engineering and Agri Industrial Technology Outstanding Research Team Award as the program leader um, in 2020. Let us all welcome uh, Dean Rosana Marie Amongo. Our fourth speaker is joining us via Zoom. Um, she is Dr. Edwina Eleanor S. Paderna. She is, a ten, she is an associate professor at UP Diliman College of Education. Um, she's one of the founding uh, program directors of the Center for Integrated STEM Education, Incorporated, or System. She is also the executive vice president of the Philippine Association of Chemistry Teachers, Incorporated, and a board member of the Philippine Federation of Chemistry Societies. She received two um, awards, one for a book chapter and um, a journal article, and um, she's been a trainer, facilitate, trainer and facilitator in events organized by the Department of Education, Department of Science and Technology, and um, Department of Information and Communication Technology. Let us all welcome Dr. Wina Paderna. So before we begin, uh, we've already now known the resource persons. Let us see where our audience are right now. Um, we have a very short um, poll. I don't know if our audience are hearing us. Meron lang tayong delay na 30 seconds, I think, from the live stream. Okay. Nasan kaya sila? Um, if you could just let us know where you are by joining this poll. Uh, from Paul Everywhere, paul.ev.com. The account name is um, Chat Reyes uh, 680. Tingnan natin kung nasan sila. Uh, I'm not sure if they can hear us. We have 120 plus confirmed participants prior to the registration uh, due date yesterday. And I'd, I'm not sure kung san sila galing. Uh, some are friends from the Visayas and Mindanao. Uh, some I know because they are faculty members from state universities and colleges in the country. Uh, so, marami rami po yun. Hindi ako sure. Uh, so, may isa nang nasa around Batangas. Medyo mabagal lang po ang ating uh, pagpasok. Uh, feeling ko po... Anyway. Hindi pala nag-work lahat ng technology, no? the, however you want it to work. <laughs> Pero, sige. Um, anyway, uh, we have confirmed participants from um, the north, from, from the north of the Philippines to the south of the country. Uh, a total of 120 plus confirmed participants in addition to the ones who are joining us via the live streaming uh, in Facebook and in YouTube accounts of UPOU networks. So anyway, um, I think we can now begin with the actual forum. So this forum, I've actually, we've actually had this idea of the forum because I just came from Australia. And you know, gender is a huge thing in Australia, uh, gender equality and equity. And I couldn't get or relate to the idea that not many women are doing sciences in other countries outside the Philippines. I was um, professionally raised by all women. Uh, administratively, all my mentors are women. So, hindi po talaga ako nakaka-relate dun sa idea na konti lang ang babaeng leaders. Uh, whenever they spoke of um, inequality in terms of gender, I really f found it uh, difficult to grasp because I've been surrounded in my 20 years of career as a scientist, teacher, and administrator. Um, I've been surrounded by women. So, Tignan natin how uh, we are labeled as the outlier in the global south uh, in terms of ge gender um, gap. Anyway, uh, so let us first, um, before we ask questions, uh, let us allow our speakers to share some insights in terms of gender gap or gender issues or gender opportunities in each of their uh, respective fields. We'll begin with um, a presentation from uh, Do Director Lilia T. Habakon. Um, unahin po natin si Director Habakon. Uh, her slides are already up. Okay. 
Magandang hapon po sa ating lahat. Uh, nung naimbita ako ni uh, Dean Reyes, hindi ko alam, ano ba yung inoohan ko? Is it a forum? <laughs> As resource speaker, etc. po. Kaya nag-prepare po ako ng aking uh, presentation. So, my presentation is entitled, My STEM Journey. Okay, so para lang po makarelate kayo, kasama ko dito si Wina sa aking STEM Journey. <laughs> di po ba? So, I would like to make a statement that this is my belief, okay? That STEM education, that is science, technology, engineering, and mathematics education provides, next slide please, provides an opportunity to create access, participation, and success in purposeful learning opportunities. Meron po tayong dahilan, meron po tayong purpose sa STEM education. And for a country that aspires to be global and competitive, it is essential to invest in STEM education and collaborate to turn its potential into fusion. So, sino po ba ang nagsasabi na to? Next slide. Okay. We are, I am from the Philippine Science High School system. It is an, next slide please. Next slide. Okay. We are the Philippine Science High School system. We are an attached agency of the Department of Science and Technology and the highest policy making body of the Philippine Science High School system is the Board of Trustees with the DOST secretary as the chairman of the board. And the vice chairman of the board is the Department of Education secretary. Now, my office or the executive di director coordinates the implementation of BOT approved policies. It manages the 16 campuses of the Philippine Science High School. By, okay, next slide please. In 1964, the Philippine Science High School was established with a goal in mind of providing uh, secondary education to our kids who are gifted or has, have high aptitude in science and math. So yun po yung pinaka goal ng ating Philippine Science High School system. It was, uh, sorry, ng Philippine Science High School in Diliman. So, nung po yung 1964. So, after several years, meaning 30 years po talaga, after 30 years, sabi, kailangan naman tayong merong Philippine Science High School sa Mindanao. So, ang next na, or ang first regional campus ay nangyari po sa Southern Mindanao, yung tinatawag namin Southern Mindanao Campus, which is in Davao, followed by one in uh, Iloilo after five years. So, matatagal po yung gap ng ating uh, Philippine Science High School campuses. But in 1998, a law was passed to create the Philippine Science High School system. Ito yung parang gaya-gaya po sa UP. Nag <laughs> nagkaroon ng UP system, di ba? Meron tayong mga autonomous universities, tapos under siya ng UP system. Kami din po nakigaya. Noong 1998, nagkaroon ng Philippine Science High School system. Ito yung magko-coordinate sa lahat ng campuses ng Philippine Science High School. And then in 2001, a law was again enacted to say that there should be one Pisay campus, Pisay po yung uh, slang name namin, okay? So one Pisay campus in every region. At nangyari lang po ito noong 2016. In 2016, we ended up with 16 campuses. Ang pinakabunso, ay ang dalawang campus po ang bunso, parang twin. Ito po ang Mimamropa Region Campus na nasa Ojongan, Romblon. So, kung nakita nyo po yung lugar na yon, 
Napakaswerte po nung bayan na nagkaroon ng Philippine Science High School doon. Isa kaming compound na yung campus namin ang may pinakamalaking auditorium na doon sa area. Pero hindi po ganun kalaki ho. Okay. And then, kasabay po niya ang Sambuanga Peninsula Region Campus na nasa Dipolog. So as of now, we have 16 campuses. And in 2022, we said that will be advancing leadership in STEM education. And you'll know later kung bakit namin sinasabi ito. So next slide, please. Okay. So ito po yung journey ko. Ang kwento ko po ay more of my journey as a STEM leader. Uh, medyo makapal mukha ako, sinasabi ko STEM leader ako. <laughs> Pero uh, in STEM, Okay, so nagumpisa po yon in uh, in 2017 I was appointed as the executive director of the Philippine Science High School System. I used to work in UP, UPLB po. So laking UPLB po ako, but then in uh, and then went out of the country and then went back. So I started my career in in Philippine Science in 2010 as campus director of the Central Luzon campus. So in 2017, when I assumed office, I was lucky enough to get a, a grant from Temasek Foundation and Nanyang Polytechnic University in Singapore. And we, I was able to get 120, no, 144 slots for capability building, which we call as innovation in teaching and learning STEM. So there's a leader's program, there's a middle manager's program, and there's a teacher's program. So part po ako nung leader's program. Ito yung one week lang, pero yung iba kong kasamahan, especially the teachers, six weeks po yung kanilang immersion sa Nanyang Polytechnic International. And then after that, I, I embarked on, I was again lucky enough to be a uh, granted another uh, sort of scholarship because Unilab Foundation sponsored us together with Bina to attend to the STEM Champions Empowerment Program on April 22 to 27 in 2018. Doon po sa trip na yon, na-realize ko that Philippine Science High School is not a STEM school. Kasi sabi nila, Anong components, basic components for you to be a STEM school? Sabi niya, dapat ang curriculum mo merong science, check kami. Ang dami namin check doon. Science, di ba? ba? Technology, meron din kami noon. Ang computer science namin from grade 7 to grade 12. Engineering. Wow. Dapat may engineering? Dapat may separate engineering? Sabi ko, ano, hindi kami STEM school? So kung hindi kami STEM school, ilan na lang ang STEM school sa Pilipinas? Na high school po, high school level. So, and then mathematics. Marami din kaming mathematics. So totoo lang, meron naman akong isang engineering course to be taken in either grade 11 or 12 as an elective. Pero not as a regular course. Pero parang nag-crash nag-crash landing yung mundo ko na hindi pala kami STEM. Di po ba? So sabi ko, kawawa naman pala ang Pilipinas. Kung ka sino pa ang pwedeng mag-qualify ng STEM? Sinong high school na nag-o-offer ng engineering? So yun po. Pero ginawa ko po yun ang solusyon. And my last uh, uh, travel on my STEM journey is uh, with Uni, again with Unilab sa so building a STEM leadership alliance last July 7 to 14 of last year. Okay? So, kukwento ko yun mamiya. So, since nag-crash ang aking mundo na wala palang STEM or uh, hindi kami STEM, in particular, hindi kami STEM, I developed a program, next slide please, which I call Kids Innovation Camp and Challenge. So, dalawang se sessions po to. And we conducted this in the PSHS system involving the 16 campuses in March and August of 2019 and a virtual edition in December 2021. Next slide, please. So, the Kids Innovation Camp 
tinuruan namin sila ng problem solving skills. Yung mga engineering concepts, design thinking, and so on and so forth. So, yun po yung aming Kids Innovation Camp. At the end of a five-day training program, meron sila mga poster-poster, meron sila mga papel-papel dyan, um, showing what they have learned, solving cer certain problems. Pero hindi po doon nagtatapos yung program. In that program, we also give them some, uh, we focus on one SDG. Yung first, let's say, yung, yung management of waste environment, kanyan. So, uh, at the end of the program, the poster nga, pero doon, magsisimula sila mag-isip ng anong problema sa community. Okay? Na kaya nilang isolve. So, next page, please. So, ito na yung Kids Innovation Challenge. And the, in this Kids Innovation Challenge, after six months, meron kang prototype solving a community problem. So, yun po ang aking uh, in, uh, initiative after getting a grant from Unilab Foundation after embarking on those trips and the Singapore trip, okay? So, next slide, please. So, we were able to conduct two in-person kids innovation camp, one in Iloilo and one in Batangas. One in-person, ah, sorry, one in per yes, one in-person kids innovation challenge, ito yung may mga prototypes, solving a community problem, and then one online edition of Kids Innovation Camp and Challenge. And there are a number of students who participated in it. The first two, pang pisay lang, pero yung virtual ed edition, sinama po namin ang DepEd. Okay. And in the first edition, first edition, 43 project ideas were born into prototypes. Next slide, please. So, doon po sa mga outcomes na yon ng aking Kids Innovation Camp and Kids Innovation Challenge, na-apply po namin to ng intellectual property rights sa IPOFIL at saka sa WIPO, sa World Intellectual Property Organization. At ang swerte po namin, because we were able to receive a patent. Iyan po yan. Okay. Next slide, please. At sa totoo lang, yung aking project na yon, naka-generate ng tatlong patents, 26 utility models, 8 industrial designs. At meron pa rin po kaming ongoing application. Okay. So, next. So, uh, High school kami, medyo nangangarap, kaya nag-try din kami mag-generate ng iba pang intellectual properties. At as of now, ang intellectual properties namin, meron kaming copyrights, 164 from boys from our uh, male students, 242 sa female. So parang mas maraming nagsusulat sa ating mga kababaihan. Uh, sa patents, pito po ang lalaki, tatlo lang ang babae. Sa utility models, mas marami yung lalaki, 50 out and the females ay 30. Uh, for your information po, yung projects namin, groups naman, hindi lahat individual. Okay? Tapos yung under the industrial designs, 10 ang male, 11 ang female. So, kung makikita nyo dito, pagsulat yung copyright, yung sa mga research, mga kung iba-iba pang literary uh, pieces, mapa-video or mapa-apps, kasama po yun sa copyright eh, mas marami talaga ang babae. Pero pagka yung product creation, mas maraming na-involve na lalaki. Gan Next slide, please. So, parang ganun din po ang trend doon sa ating mga ongoing. Meron pa kaming nakalodge na mga activities. Ito pong total na to, 
ano na to, uh, hindi lang yung sa Kids Innovation Camp at saka Kids Innovation Challenge. Meron pa rin kaming ibang activities. So, sharing with you, these are some, next slide please, are some milestones out of our, uh, how we attended with the pandemic. So, tulad ng UP, hindi kami nag, uh, nag, nag-conduct ng admission test, so we shifted to a model-based admission process. Two levels nga lang po, yung una based on model, second uh, level ay based on a, a short test. And then we generated intellectual property assets. We were able to, very timely po yung creation ng aming uh, Knowledge Innovation Division, parang ito yung uh, ICT arm ng ating uh, Philippine Science High School System. At during that time, noong 2020, katatapos lang po namin i-create ang aming learning management system, which we call as PSI Knowledge Hub. And then, noong uh, March 2020, sabi lockdown, o di, ang yayabang namin, oh, shift tayo sa online, online, online. One week pa lang po, close shop na kami. <laughs> One week ng March, eh, pang fourth quarter pa lang namin yon. So, one week, uh, na-realize namin, ang yabang lang namin. Kasi, hindi kami prepared. Okay, unlike ng UPO, you prepared ka agad. Pero kami, hindi prepared. So, sabi na, okay, shut down. Pagkatapos, yung isang campus magpapatuloy, but we are to conduct a study. Out of the study, tayo magkikreate, tayo gagawa ng solution kasi parang matatagalan pa tong lockdown na to. And that we did. So, uh, so after finding a solution on how we are to handle the pandemic, nagawa din kami ng learning guides, collaborative system-wide activities, and we strengthened the mental health awareness program of the Philippine Science High School and uh, we continued with our partnership. Next slide, please. So, nung before, kung may upkat po, nung upkat, ang amin pong main campus is always, uh, has been ranked as first for big schools. Palagi siyang first. At ang aming um, regional campus, nasa top 12 po siya. Kasi 12 pa lang naman noon ang may graduates. Yung iba, wala pang graduates. ba Sabi ko, 16 kami. So, ito, 13 lang to. But when the UPCA was run, nako, wala na po kami. <laughs> uh, nagkaroon din po kami ng problema kung saan papasok ang mga bata when, you, uh, when UP opted for the UP college admission process without the test. Okay? So, uh, our students usually get a uh, DOST scholarship, but we do undergo exams. Wala pong preferential treatment ang DOST sa Philippine Science High School. And most of our graduates uh, take a STEM course. Meron pong listahan na courses for them to take. Okay? So, yan po. And we allow our students to take the SAT, the US-based SAT, and usually yung nagte-take po nasa 91st percentile. And then uh, recently po marami pong na nakuha ng exam at nag-apply ng foreign university admission and one hand last year for instance 163 of our graduates applied for and were admitted to univer foreign university admission with 305 scholarships. So, yung isang bata nag apply to more than one. Tapos usually, nabibigyan siya ng maraming scholarship po. So, ganun po yung nangyayari. So, that's us. And this is our future direction. So, mag-e-end na po ako. So, we would like to create a citizen Pisay. Citizen Pisay imbibes the core values of our core values of integrity, passion for excellence, and commitment to serve through increased engagements in social scientific endeavors in scientific communities. And this future direction, next page po, 
Okay. Uh, this citizen PSI will be uh, developed or will will be uh, run in the context of the PSHS forward framework. So we launched in 2022 this forward framework wherein we would like to imbibe the future-proof education. So ngayon po, nasa stage kami ng nagde-develop ng new curriculum so that our graduates will be able to shape their own future. So doon po ako nagtatapos. Salamat po. Next page na po. Next slide. So maraming maraming salamat po. Thank you po, Director Havacon. Um, let us also hear a, some sharing of uh, their journey with uh, the STEM field. Dr. Wina Paderna, would you like to share some insights from your journey? Um, good afternoon, everyone. Hi. Ayan din po ng journey ni Ma'am Lil. Uh, nabanggit po niya kanina that we were together in the uh, uh, training namin sa, sa US in 2018. So, because of that, okay, because of that training, uh, sorry, 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 sorry. Okay. We, um, as an as an output of that training, we were able to establish for integrated STEM education in the Philippines. So, coming up, we have launched different programs. Po, ang hinahaw. Yes, Ma'am Wina, wait lang, Mama. Uh, sorry, Ma'am, pasensya na po. Uh, we'll just uh, fix the tech issue. Sorry, Ma'am Wina, pasensya na po. Nag-practice po kami, promise. Sabi nga, Murphy's Law, if anything could go wrong, it will go wrong. So, uh, medyo... Kahit practicing po namin yata eh, something wrong will happen if there's technology involved. So, we'll get better with this with time. So. Okay na po. I'm just waiting for our tech people to fix it. Give me a signal if it is okay. So, habang ina uh, in my time, I think 90% of my batchmates were female. Pero that doesn't mean lahat kami gumraduate on time. So, ibang usaban na po yun. I think 90% of us were female. Um, so, it was really a strange idea for me when I came to Australia and people were saying not many female or girls go to science and math and engineering because it was, as I mentioned earlier, it was a rare occurrence to me. Wherever, whichever field I go, administration, teaching, being a student, um, females are dominating. i sorry, mali yung word, pero there are more females in my field than uh, male. Okay, uh, let's try it again, uh, Doc Quina. Yes, Ma'am Chair. Okay, so as I was saying earlier, uh, my, my journey um, started at the same time with, with uh, Ma'am Dale. We went, to, we went together um, alongside with other, with other STEM champions um, with the support of the Unilab Foundation. We went to to Boston, Massachusetts, and then we trained there for, for one week. And then after that training, we conceptualized the, the founding or the establishment of a, of a STEM education center here in the Philippines. And now it's called the Center for Integrated STEM Education or SYSTEM. 
And uh, as mentioned during my introduction, that um, I am one of the founding direct, uh, program directors of, of the system. And as such, one of my um, programs is the STEM, uh, STEM Teaching Factory. So that particular program is in um, collaboration with the Unite, uh, uh, Unilab Foundation and the um, Amherst Laboratories in Mamplasan. So what we do there is that we train teachers um, pre-pandemic, the training is in, in the Amherst Laboratories in the plant in Mamplasan. And then we train there uh, our teachers, uh, some depth ed teachers, our pilot, um, our pilot uh, participants were only 16. Uh, that was in, in 2019. And after that, the, the program grew. And even, and even during the pandemic, we, we transitioned the, the program to an online or uh, fully virtual STEM teaching factory. So, yun po um, ay yung mga programa, uh, programa na, na hinahawakan ko sa, sa system. And also, as the executive vice president naman po of the Philippine Association of Chemistry Teachers, um, we have different, different events. So, we hold the chemistry week and then we now uh, are planning uh, for our uh, PACT 2023 uh, national convention in August 7 on August 17 to 19. So yun po so far ang ano ang pwede kong maikwento at this point. So mamaya po marami, mas marami pa pong kwento. So, yun lang po, Ma'am Cha. Thank you po, Dr. Wina. Let's now hear from uh, Dr. Maricor Soriano uh, with regard to her journey as a physicist. Hello, hello. Bale, um, physics tapos girl parang sounds incompatible, right? But thanks to my parents and thanks to uh, not being able to go to biology or psychology, kaya ako napadpad sa physics. Ang um, ano ko ay, sabi ko, pag college ko, ano bang gusto kong gawin? Tinanong ako. Gusto kong maging doktor. Doktor na gumagamot. Kasi nung bata ko, yun ng ano ko eh, yun ang exposure ko sa science eh. Yeah? So ano na nga ba yung pwede kong maging career? Gusto kong tumulong, maging doktor. Ano po ba ang dapat kong kunin kung gusto kong maging doktor? Biology or psychology? Pre-med. Sige. De chinek ko yun sa upkat. Eh, quota course pala yun. Saksaka na taas na quota. Sa, ay, 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 tight na quota. So, madaling salita. Pumasa ako sa UP, pero hindi dun sa course na gusto ko. So, DP was ang tawag dun na mamili ka ng course na may slots pa. So, tiningnan ko yung listahan. Sabi ko, oh, physics. Nag-enjoy ako ng physics nung high school. Shout out kay Miss McClatt, teacher ko sa high school. Sa ano, so yun ang pinili ko. Buti na lang, supportive ang parents ko, nanay ko, teacher sa Philippine Normal University. Sabi niya, tama yan kasi kulang ang physics teachers sa Philippines. Tatay ko, engineer sa Philippine Nuclear Research Institute. Sabi niya, tama yan. Pagkatapos mo mag-graduate, pwede kang ma-hire doon. O de, there I went. And, and, Ang hirap pala ng physics, sus Mario Josep. <laughs> Second year, gusto ko nang mag, ano, mag, mag shift. Buti na lang, nung tinanong ko nanay ko, nay, pwede ba akong mag shift? Pwede ka lang mag shift kung matapos mo na yung kurso mo. In other words, hindi. So, tinuloy ko po, at buti na lang, dumating si, yung advisor ko, Dr. Saloma, uh, I, I discovered research. And from there, ang sarap pala pong mag research. And sobra ako na sarapan na after, BS, nag-MS ako, nag-PhD pa at ng postdoc pa to continue doing research. Okay. So, iyon po yung journey ko. Na nag -enjoy dahil nag dahil nag-enjoy ako sa physics, here I am now, a scientist. Okay. Yun lang po. Thank you po, uh, Dr. Maricor. Uh, let's hear from Dean Rosan. Sorry, Dean Rosan, kasi talaga yung tawag ko sa kanya. So, pagbigyan niyo na po ako. Uh, Good afternoon po. Can you hear me? Hello, hello. 
Do I have the mic? Okay. So, good afternoon po dito sa mga taong nandito sa room at saka po dun sa ating uh, uh, live streaming. Uh, ako po ay isang agricultural and biosystems engineer. So, uh, during, just like ma'am, I think pareho lang pagbata ka. Anong gusto mo maging? Gusto ko maging doctor with, with the notion that physician after, after a long time. But then, Siguro during my time, my sister, who uh, is elder than me, nag-medicine siya. Ngayon si tatay, nanay ko, hindi kaya ng dalawang nag-medicine. Almost two years lang yung pagitan namin. And so, uh, yung tatay ko at mga pinsan ko lahat po ay nasa engineering fields. Uh, but my father is an optometrist. So, gusto lang niya na yun yung pupuntahan ko. And then because... Uh, uh, my mother has uh, a simple farm holding. Sabi niya, oh, ikaw na lang magtutuloy ng farm. So, parang ganun yung notion. So, I, I take uh, agricultural and biosystems engineering. When I was on my first year, eh, gusto ko nga maging doktor. So, I tried to shift and transfer to UP Diliman because I was accepted in UPLB. And my course then, and until now, is a quota course. So you, you can shift because you are, kumbaga, prime. Nandung ka sa mga prime na accepted. So pwede kang mag-shift after a year of spending your first year. Na-accept po ako sa, ano, sa UP Diliman. Kaya lang, pagdating ko po doon, dahil po ako ay from the 100% GI Joe, uh, pagdating ko po doon, Ang mga tao doon ay taglish. So, na-culture siya ako. Uwi na po ako sa amin sa Los Banos. Doon na lang po ako. Kasi kahit wala kang pera, you can just walk along the, among the buildings and you can have your class. And then, during my time, feeling na feeling ko po ay napakaganda ko. <laughs> Bakit? Ay lilima lang po kaming babae sa buong batch. Sa so, batch 83, most of them are men. But of course, uh, yung mga babae na nakabatch ko, uh, it's only ag -eng then and kem -eng ang offering during that time. Uh, and of course, uh, first year of offering ang chemical engineering at the College of Engineering. And FYI, now we have already seven undergraduate programs to include ABE, chemical engineering, civil engineering, electrical engineering, industrial engineering, mechanical engineering. And this coming semester, we will be offering the uh, Bachelor of Science in Materials Engineering. And so, uh, uh, sabi ko nga, feeling ko napakaganda ko kasi ko, konti kami doon eh. So, uh, kumbaga, star, star yung mga batchmates ko. But other than that, I think uh, women are as competitive as men. And so, uh, in my world, it's the engineering field, it's been there. Uh, even at the very, very start of its creation in UPLB, we are now celebrating our 111th year of foundation anniversary this year. And uh, after 110 years of its existence, ngayon lang po sila nakaproduce ng babaeng dekana. And so maybe, uh, maybe it's now high time. Uh, I, I, I think that the, the opportunity was there. Uh, pareho po kaming babaeng naglaban sa position. And so, para lang, uh, hindi po kami nakipaglaban sa mga kalalakihan. Pero I think uh, we are the more or less uh, nandun na sa age group to lead. And so, that's, that's one reason maybe. And then of course, uh, pag naglalabanan po kasi, as Asayib said, uh, women are as competitive as men uh, in so many ways. Pero wag mo lang sabihin na pag physical, physical uh, competition na yan, of course, makikita mo na yung medyo mas mihina yung physical structure niya. Pero of course, tingnan nyo si Hidilisa, uh, ang ating Olympian. She is a woman. In my world po talagang, it's been dominated by men. Kasi engineering. So, nung panahon ko po, pag po may nakasukbit na T-square at mapa sa likod mo, ang sasabihin po ng buong UPLB, wow! Kasi kukunti po kami. But now, uh, as, as, as our uh, uh, development progress on, and then the awareness of women, and then maybe the potentials and opportunities 
for women to go into higher education, nandun na po lahat. And so I think uh, the College of Engineering now is about uh, 65-35. Nung unang panahon, para kaming uh, less than 5%. Among the, ano, so mala, madami na din pong kasamahan sa kababahin at kalalakihan. And uh, I'm very proud that in my world, yan, machinery and power engineering po ang aking specialization. Sige I ma. did produce the first drone. I did produce the first electric tractor. I did produce the ergonomic tractor for women. Because if you are designing, usually po, Yung physical or the physique of a man is always there to consider. And so we did some studies on ergonomics. Who is doing what? What are you replacing when you're talking of machines? So kung kababaihan yan, you should be designing a machine that is uh, supposed to be fitted to a woman's strength, woman's figure, woman's uh, uh, more or less the physique of a woman. So... Yun po. So, siguro po, kaya po ako in-awarden na UP Scientist. Na-awarden po ako ng iba't ibang awards. I just received last year. Uh, I'm not the first one who received the highest award for the Agricultural and Biosystems in Engineering in the Philippines. But I'm very proud to be one of them. Parang tatatlo pa lang kami o dadalawa lang pa lang po kami out of so many men in my world. So it's opening its gate and I think it's just ang kasabihan nga po pag hindi ka promonta hindi mo ipinaglaban yung mga adhikain mo dapat po ang adhikain natin ay parating kasama yung ating uh, gender naniniwala po ako doon because I also serve as a gender director at UPLB once once upon a time so pinaglalaban ko po talaga yung karapatan ng mga kababaihan at hindi ko po nakikita na mas uh, when it comes to competency I, I, I would say that I am as competent as men so siguro knowledge wise skills wise there are some variation but of course sabi nga nila meron pa rin gender gap meron pa rin gender inequalities hindi natin masyado na, napapansin dito sa Pilipinas kagaya ni Dincha but in other third world, you will be really seeing that, that there's a big difference between men and women. So, okay. sana po dito sa Pilipinas, with this forum, we can uh, advocate that there should be a lesser gap between men and women and should be given the same opportunity. Magandang hapon po. po sa ating lahat. Okay. Thank you, Bo. Those are all inspiring journeys of uh, being women in the STEM fields. Uh, before this forum began, I sent some reading assignments to our forum resource persons. I'm feeling ko naman pinatawad naman nila ako doon. Uh, my first three questions for this forum are based on those three, on those two reading readings. Um, let's begin with uh, those three questions, but feel free to send in your questions. We are entertaining all questions coming from YouTube, galing, coming from our Facebook, and there are also some uh, Participants have already sent their questions in advance. So, mahabahabang conversation po ito. Let's begin with the first question. Uh, in uh, earlier, uh, in 2022, there was a CNN article uh, which labeled the Philippines as an outlier on the global front of the gender gap. Uh, having elected several women in both national and local elections. So, that's the basis of their, um, of their labeling us uh, the, an outlier in, on the global front. I was wondering whether these re, uh, esteemed resource persons are sensing the same uh, from their respective STEM fields. Um, do you think women are able to move up to top most or chief level positions in your fields? Let's begin with uh, Dr. Maricor uh, Soriano. Uh, as a physicist, po, do you sense that there's a uh, uh, that we are all able to move up to top most or chief level leadership similar to uh, being elected as uh, national or local leaders? Yes, absolutely. Uh, I'd like to show a graph, sure, if I may. Uh, yes, Krista, please, uh, there's a graph. So I can only speak for UP Diliman College of Science. The graph that you see here is a graph of how many uh, male versus female professors there are in College of Science. Uh, I've read somewhere that it depends on the field. 
Like for example, take a look at biology, chemistry, IESM, uh, and what else is this? Uh, NIMBB, may parity, meaning they're nearly equal. And in chem, it's dominated by female professors. I'm talking about professors, assistant, associate, and full professors, no? But in some fields, like in my field, there are only five of us out of 26. Five females, uh, five physicists, female, out of 26 in total, okay? So uh, in a paper I read somewhere, it depends on the field, okay? However, in terms of leadership, wapakels kung lady ka or lalaki ka kasi, for example, uh, uh, IESM led by a lady. Marine Science Institute led by a lady. NIMBB led by a lady. They are directors. So through leadership roles, it doesn't matter. I, uh, um, the nice thing about if you're in a, in a university, it's meritocracy. Uh, what I only observe is uh, maybe there are only few of us in, say, math, uh, uh, physics, uh, geology, because maybe there, were no, there are not many of us, physicists, uh, lady geologist, or mathematician. So, so it comes from the pool. Uh, why is there so many biologists, chemists, etc.? Maybe because it's, I don't know, huh? Kalam, still need study. Maybe because it's seen to be a field that can be done by women, I don't know. Uh, maybe math and physics sounds like an engineering field, or geology even, uh, uh, it's, a, it's a male uh, field. But it doesn't matter, actually. If you have the ideas, if you have uh, 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 research interest, you can actually excel in these fields. So what we need to do, I think, is encourage more young girls. Show them that, hey, I'm a role model. I'm a physicist, lady. You can be like me, too. Okay? You can excel in your field or, or strive in your field. So thinking ko, the reason for this disparity in some fields, in some fields only, is because of exposure, lack of exposure of, of young girls uh, for, to the possibility that they can be in these fields and thrive in these fields. Okay? Yes. But leadership roles, doesn't matter. We are a meritocracy when it comes to a university. Uh, women leaders are chosen okay. routinely. Uh, thank you, po, uh, Dr. Jing. Uh, Dr. Liel, how about in stat and in executive functions? How about uh, us, women there? Okay. Uh, di ba kanina, dinefine ko yung STEM sa high school. So, dapat na-offer mo yung STEM. And at second component nun, dapat na-integrate mo. So, you have to offer them separately. Eh, di ba kakaunti lang naman yung kung STEM high school. Now, sa Philippine Science High School, there are 16 directors, campus directors, and then me, that's the executive director, 17, and a deputy executive director, so 18. 18 is the total number. Seven of them are women. 11 yung natirang men. So, pero sa bakbakan sa executive committee, uh, hindi po nagpapatalo ang ating mga ladies. So, at usually po, sila ang tama. Are so napapaligay, <laughs> napapaligiran, napapaligiran po ako ng mga, uh, mga babaeng, campus director na laging tama. Mag mabait naman po yung boys namin. Okay. So <laughs> sila po yung member nung sabi sa amin eh, oh how, yung uh, unified husbands afraid of, of wives. Wind, their wives. <laughs> Sorry, unified uh, husbands afraid of their wives. Yes. Uh, How party list Haba. po yun. Okay, sige po. Uh, thank you, uh, Director Habakon. Uh, Dean Rosen. Uh, yeah. Um, in the engineering fields, if you look at the international arena, it says that uh, we've been growing in terms of the numbers of women who are occupying their uh, high, high positions. That's in the, uh, the engineering fields. And uh, I agree with mom because it says that maybe one of the disparities that being experienced by women when it comes to leadership I because of the lack of role models. So I agree po ako doon. Medyo hindi po tayo masyadong napupush. Uh, in your field, you have uh, 
few role models as uh, physicists. In my fields, I have uh, I have a uh, few role models as engineers, top engineers. But uh, again, uh, uh, as I've said, also men and women in engineering and technology uh, levels of the intent of work and its uh, and their capacities, and so. Uh, Still, there are uh, more men than women uh, graduating from the engineering field. So if I will look at the top positions or top uh, traditional engineering fields that are being offered worldwide, for engineering directors, that's number one. So uh, number one top most in terms of salary compensation. So there are more men than women. Uh, biomedical engineers, it is still being dominated by men. For chemical engineers, about 87% are men and only 13% are women. Mechanical engineers, about 91% men and only about 8.8% women. For electrical engineers, it, the same is true with the electrical engineers, 87% and ab around 13% for women. But in the industrial engineering operations research, and uh, an, uh, the analysts or the IE applications, we have uh, more women, about 55% of them. So that's how the engineering field looks like when it comes to the opportunity of uh, men and women occupying uh, top positions. In the Philippines, so let's take a look at uh, the, in the context of the Philippines. So Filipino science technology practitioners are almost half as men females and males. And so if I look in my college where I am right now, so uh, uh, Sayat has been there for 111 years. And if you look at the la uh, last manpower audit, I will be sharing with you that more male, uh, about 64% are administrative <laughs> staff and about 36% are only women. However, in the uh, research, extension, and professional group, or what you call your reps, uh, about 56% are female, and uh, uh, only 43% or 44% are male. For the faculty profile, so we are, uh, when we did the manpower audit for 2022 last year, there were around 157 faculty members for the whole College of Engineering. And out of that, 56 uh, in count, or 35, 36% are female, and 64% uh, uh, are male. So it's still a male-dominated field. But for the SEAT administration, just like Ma'am uh, Habakon says a while ago, we are about 17 uh, uh, members of the SEAT Execom, and uh, only six of us are female. The, the, the dean and then the associate dean, girl power ba? So, <laughs> and some of our unit heads, uh, chemical engineering, industrial engineering, and even the representative of our SEAT student council. So in terms of students, 62% uh, are male from the last five years of enrollment, while around 38% uh, are female. But as the UN says, for an equitable distribution of functions and uh, uh, the integration of women in, in the science, uh, in, in the STEM, dapat daw meron tayong at least 30% na participation. O sige, 70% pa rin si kanila, pero lahat ba tayo ay merong 30%. So I think SEAT is be above, above the threshold of the UN findings that there should be more the, um, around 30% of women occupying, occupying uh, uh, major, major decision making. So, yun po. And so, as uh, SEAT has envisioned to uh, produce, uh, yun naman po, dahil we are in the academia, of course, our first priority is to produce the human resource complementation, to produce the leaders. Actually, hindi yung to produce government employee. Ang UP yeah. po ay nagpo-produce ng leaders yes. to lead the pack. And so that is, I think, the major, major challenge to us at Sayat. Uh, lumalaki na po kami. Meron po kami around 3,200 students, second to the most uh, populated uh, College of Arts and Sciences. And in the coming years, they're really looking at us. Pag nag-divide daw po si Arts and si Science dito sa UPLB, kami na po daw yung pinakamalaki. And okay. so, uh, as, as we grow, 
uh, bigger and bigger, uh, the involvement of women will be really felt in the yeah. future. In, in the future. Okay. Thank, Thank you, Paul. You, Paul. Uh, before, uh, we, uh, before we give the mic to Dr. Wina, I just want to emphasize that there's, a, there's really a huge um, factor in terms of if you want to create a pool uh, that's composed of largely women, then there has to be some students coming in to the programs. Malaking bagay po yung from high school to college um, that many young girls or young women would go into the programs unless they enroll in these STEM programs. May hirapan tayong magbuo ng women dominant leadership roles in the STEM field. So, yung exposure, yung pipeline na sinasabi nila ay very important po from young age to their undergraduate degrees maybe. Yes, Ma'am Wina, how about in your field? Okay, so I'll be... I'll be sharing in the context of uh, the College of Education, the system or the Center for Integrated STEM Education, and the PACT or the Philippine Association of Chemistry Teachers. Now, in our college, in the uh, UP College of Education in Diliman, um, mas madami po talaga ang, ang mga babae na faculty members. So, ilan lang po yung mga, mga uh, male professors namin. And then for the uh, for the PACT naman po, and, and nagtanong po ako, medyo bago pa lang po kasi ako na, na officer sa PACT, nagtanong po ako sa mga co-officers ko, and I found that out of the 13 uh, presidents of the Philippine Association of Chemistry Teachers, six po ang female and seven po ang male. So the first three three uh, past presidents were male and then after that doon na po nagsimula yung yung mga um, pagkakaroon ng ng female presidents ng association namin and then also for the meron meron din po kasing uh, Philippine Federation of Chemistry Societies so dito naman po we we give uh, uh, awards different awards and then meron pong specific award that we call can uh, award in in chemistry education and then for that based po dun sa ano sa uh, website ng PFCS um, for the 24 years that they that the so that the federation has been giving the awards for different different categories like chemical research chemistry education um, at meron po pong dalawang uh, dalawang awards 15 awardees were women out of the 24 years uh, posted in the in the website. So, uh, makikita po natin na sa field po, gaya po ng sinabi ni Dr. Soriano, depende po kasi sa, sa area of specializi uh, specialization. And I agree with the, with the uh, statistics po, yung trend po, pareho lang din po dun sa, sa mga associations or dun sa College of Education, even in in uh, in our science education area, mas madami rin po ang ang ano ang babae kesa sa mga lalaki. So yun po um depende rin po yun sa 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 field palagay ko gaya nung na ipakita ni Dr. Soriano. Okay, thank you po, Doc Quina. Um, we are all talking about leadership, uh, the composition of the leadership sphere environment. Uh, in terms of how much of the positions are occupied by women, my, my, uh, I'm just wondering whether in sustaining these developments in addressing the gender gap, uh, we've already said that um, it is critical for women to have voice in the decision-making processes, as mentioned by Director Lil earlier, that the women are not voiceless in their um, executive committee, for example. My, my question is whether in your respective STEM fields or industries, what do you think are the unique perspectives that women bring and men, uh, I'm not saying they don't bring it, but what are the specific um, perspectives or insights that women, especially women, bring to this effect? Ano po ang uh, perspective nyo? Sige ma'am Lil, uh, sa inyo po muna siguro. Dahil uh, kanina kinuwento nyo yung composition nyo. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, sa isang um, organization, 
kung tutuusin, madali namang mag-decide because there are policies. Ito ang rule. Kaya lang, ang sa akin, it goes beyond the rule. There are people to consider. So, if you go beyond the rule, doon po tayo nahihirapang mag-decide. Ang tingin ko, yung ganitong dilema ay usually gwa ng babae. Ang lakas po ng ating empathy, na ando, kahit na akala mo strong-willed pusong mamon na sinasabi nila, but it's not bad for me. Yun yung nag, nagiging parang human, ka, nagiging tao ka, and uh, that direction, I believe, it, you can find it lesser in men. Of course, it's not just that. Okay, your education will empower you to become good leaders. Tapos yung uh, nung, nung college uh, after graduation, ang barkada ko nagkataon puro babae yung naging barkada ko. At uh, nakasama ko sa buhay. Sila yung nag at medyo matatanda na sila sa akin. Kasi noon batang bata ako, pero ngayon ako pinakamatanda sa grupo na to. <laughs> no? So nung Uh, uh, so, nung, nung nalaki ako, naandun yung mga kasama ko na somehow nag-mentor sa akin. May times na naiinis ako, bakit ganun? Mali na nga ang ginawa. Pero na, 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 na ipipresent nila in another light. Merong another perspective. Merong another context. At doon po ako lumaki. So, when I took on my, in my career, So, yung management experience ko, nadala ko yon na merong good things about some situations and you cannot simply apply the rule. Kasi kung rule lang, oh, di ba, tata ko, 5%, oh, out. Hindi <laughs> 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 ba, meron tayong mga ganon. Or, pero it's beyond that. You have to look into the people, the situation. And uh, nagaya, sometimes nagagaya ko po sila, ngayong matanda na ako, kahit medyo mali, na, na-rationalize mo siya, na-explain mo, nakikita mo siya in another perspective. And that, I think, is very important. And that makes us different from most of our colleagues. Uh, do you agree po, Dean Rosan, being the dean? Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, I think uh, women can show a very hard uh, situation into a uh, easier, easier appreciation. Sa akin kasi, pag babae ka, I, I don't know if you agree with me, meron kang TLC. Meron din namang TLC ang mga tatay, magagalit lahat ng kalalakihan dito sa, sa, sa ano. Pero, uh, because uh, being a woman, at lalo pa kung ikaw ay naging mother na, that TLC is very strong. And so you bring it with you, that tender, loving care in everything you do. So doon sa perspective na uh, pag compare mo, pero feeling ko lahat kaming nandito ngayon nakababayihan, mga tigris kami eh. So hindi naman talaga <laughs> kami. <laughs> you cannot see us. I think we are in a woman's body but with the... Uh, uh, yeah, strong-willed woman, women. So, pero, uh, despite of that, I think nakikita mo yon sa mga nitty-gritty sa uh, chores or even sa, dadalhin ko po kayo sa aking mundo, sa uh, production systems. So, sino ba ang gumagawa ng mahihirap, mabibigat na job? Kalalakihan yan. Kasi physically, they are more capable to do that than women. Pero sino ba ang gumagawa ng mga nitty na operation. Kunwari, pagwiwid. Hindi magwiwid masyado ang lalaki. Ang magwiwid doon, dahan-dahan para hindi niya madanggil yung kanyang halaman. Babae yan. Sino ang gumagawa ng pagpapatubig? Ayan, lalaki yan, mabigat siya ni. Kung pupuntahan ko siya sa mano-mano or even, even if you have the technologies, it will still be a male male activity. Pero, sino magtatahep? Sino mag-iisa-isa ng binlid o mag-isa-isa ng mga broken rice? Babae yan. And so, it, 
I go back to being uh, having that TLC in another another perspective. So yun po yung sa akin. And then of course uh, there are uh, ayun nga mabusisi sila sa mga detailing. I think. So, maaarte ang babae. Sige, magpa-decorate ka ng... Of course, iba na ngayon ang mundo. Kasi yung mga LGBT would also be... If it's if you classify them na sila... Ay, uh, sex lang ang orientation natin, ay sila ay lalaki versus babae. Ano? Pero if you go into the detailing activities, which I think uh, kasama ito sa operations, planning, decision-making... Babae. So that's the the other perspective that I would like to share. Siguro yun yung nakikita ngayon sa mga women leaders. And uh, tama si ma'am, dapat strong-willed ka. Tapos sabi ni ma'am, matanda na daw siya. Hindi si ma'am ay young. Younger lang kami ni ma'am. At mas madaming young guests po dito sa harapan. So, yeah, Sige, I think TLC. So... Thank Sige, Ma'am Jing. Meron kayong... Nag-agree po ba kayo doon? May dadagdag ako. Uh, in, a, in another forum about women, when I, where I was invited to some years ago, I did some research as well, I read a psychology paper, a bit controversial, about the difference between men and women. For example, management style, or, or when doing something. Ang mga lalaki daw, guys, see if you agree, ha? Tunnel vision yan pag may kailangan gawin. Pag ito yung dapat gawin, focus silang ganun. Ang babae naman daw, broad vision, yung lahat isasama. Yan. Iisipin niya kung ano-ano pa yung pwedeng uh, ma-include. So medyo wider peripheral vision. <laughs> so lalaki daw, focus kung ito yung goal, ito yung gagawin, eh, yun lang yung gagawin niya. Whereas babae, consider niya lahat. Okay, so if you agree with that, that was a study, a psychology study back then. So I think if if that study is is valid to us, I think what women, men and women are complementary. Sometimes you really need uh, focus para matapos yung trabaho. But ang maganda na kinocontribute yung medyo malawak yung, yung scope po, pananaw mo, is you can really get people to work together. You can collaborate, no? You can make people collaborate. Minsan, pag tunnel vision ka or focus ka, you are competitive. And men are known to be very competitive, especially if they're doing something very competitive, focus dito sa gagawin. But with a wider wider uh, pananaw, yun, you can bring together people to work together. I, I, I see it in myself. I, I do a lot of multidisciplinary research. I'm a physicist, but I work with marine scientists, museums, uh, sports people, and I really like bringing people from other fields to, to uh, and we work together. I'm a physicist, but I work with art, you know, for example. So I see that. Any perspective, Doc Quina? Yung, ano, dadagdang ko lang yung sinabi ni, ni Dr. Soriano, yung, yung, um, yung mga babae ay brother yung vision. Tingnan na lang natin sa bahay, di ba? Pag mayroong chores na, alam mo, yun yung gagawin mo. Pero pag may nadaanan ka lang na kailangan pulutin, pupulutin mo, tas, tapos magliligpit ka na ng ganito kasi nakita mo na, na magulo yung, yung, yung sofa tap, or mag, mag, madaming nakakalat na, na, um, na mga damit, so liligpitin mo na. So, um, madaming, ano, madaming uh, nakikita yung yung mga kababaihan na kahit na merong merong isang goal lang kapag nadaanan niya o nakita niya yung iba aattendahan din niya yon so um, also uh, i agree din yung, yung tungkol sa collaboration na 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 naihahain ng ng mga kababaihan and because of the collaboration um, skills ng mga kababaihan hindi ko naman sinasabi na wala ang mga kalalakihan Pero I think yun nga dahil sa empathy, dahil din sa nurturing, um, nurturing ang mga kababaihan by, uh, by nature, di ba, nurturing. Um, kaya yung pagdating sa community building, yung pagpakikitungo sa mga, sa mga, uh, mga uh, citizens or community workers or, uh, or uh, sa neighborhood, ganyan. mas ano mas madaling madaling 
maka, maka ano yan, makikitungo yung mga kababaihan. So, I think nag, nag, nag-uugat yun dun sa nature ng mga kababaihan na, mag, na, na very nurturing tayo. Lalo na nga kapag nanay ka or naging nanay ka na kasi yun, may, may mga anak ka. Pero yun nga, by nature talaga ay very nurturing. That's why also, um, yung first, may, may kwento ko lang na yung first uh, course ko o yung course na pinasahan ko sa sa UP Dilema nung una ay chemical engineering. Pero um, for 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 a lot of reasons hindi na na-realize ko na hindi ako pang engineering, pang chemistry ako. Kaya naghanap ako ng ng college nung nung na-realize ko na, na hindi ako for ano for engineering, na-realize ko na yon, naghanap ako ng college and and nakita ko yung College of Education and and sa first sem ko pa lang na nasa College of Education na naramdaman ko na pasensya na po naramdaman ko na yung yung kaibahan ng ng pag-aalaga ng ng College of Engineering sa College of of Education na na, na, na talagang naalaga maski yung mga staff staff po namin noon nung undergrad ako na naramdaman ko yung pag-aalaga So, na maganda po kasi po, 'di ba, yung College of Education, kami yung nagte-train sa mga future teachers ng bayan. So, maganda po na na aside from the the, the cognitive um, cognitive aspect, ay talaga pong nate-train din namin sila para maging mas uh, maalaga, mas uh, empathic doon sa sa mga estudyante natin at maintindihan kung ano yung mga pangangailangan ng mga estudyante. Thank you po, Doc Quina. Um, in our conversation right now, there were already some uh, aspects that are arising. Number one, being a wife and a mother. Uh, I am I am neither. So, uh, so, ang question ko is whether those two um, roles, uh, would, did it usually, uh, do they usually hinder someone to be a successful career woman? The same question is being asked by um, one of the participants from the floor. So I'd like to ask the, the speakers, the resource persons, if you have any beliefs or sentiments about the notion that being a wife and a mother would usually hinder someone to be a successful career woman. If you are neither a wife nor a mother, then w- is your being a single unmarried woman a uh, major factor of the success that uh, you've reached? Yun po yung question. Uh, sige, Ma'am Jing, maybe you have a perspective first. Uh, katulad ni Ma'am Cha, ano, uh, single blessedness po ako, yes. No. Pero may anak po ako na apat ang paa at yelo ang buhok. Uh, yan po, <laughs> opo. opo. May aso po ako. Yun ang center of my universe. Okay, so actually, uh, that question about, you know, the physiological difference between men and women. We bear children. And may, may comment ako dati dyan eh about, kasi last year I think I made a comment about that. Ang, uh, when you are in the scientific career, engineering career, or in the academe, no, in the academe, ang importante yung magawa mo, especially in university, is to get tenure. Tenure. So permanent ka na doon sa university. Paano ka ba maging ma- ma-tenure? May mga rules yung iba't ibang university. Essentially, marami ka dapat na-accomplish. So iba't ibang uh, accomplishment levels. No? So, ang sabi ko, uh, sana ang mga babae, especially those who are uh, uh, who are child rearing or ha- are pregnant and ano, sana bigyan sila ng extra time yun or, or tanggalin yung time na nagre-rear sila ng children doon sa tenure time tenure tenure uh, stop clock stopwatch, di ba? Kasi ano yan eh? Alam niyo pag may tenure kayo hanggang kung hindi ka pa, wala ka pang made, uh, several accomplishments after 10 years, out. Out ka na sa university, hanap ka na ng ibang trabaho, ganun. Ang, ang opinion ko is, uh, sana bigyan ng, pag, pag may scientist na babae na uh, may uh, uh, pregnant, child rearing, ganun, bigyan siya ng time out, time out muna pag ganun. Huwag isama yung period na nanganganak siya or, or nag-aalaga siya doon. Buti na lang, yung sa batas natin, may paternity leave na rin. Because I had a postdoc in Finland, and Finland is one of those countries na grabe yung 
equality nila sa mga babae rin nila. Matataas yun, yung prime minister nila, babae. So, yun, yung pagdating sa mga babae, usually they lead sa Finland. And doon ko nakita na, wow, pati yung mga lalaki, may paternal leave. So, pati yung mga, kung kunyari, kailangan na magtrabaho ng, ng, ng anak na babae, uh, yung tatay naman ang magtitakeover para mag-alaga and he's given paternal leave. So, buti na lang, just recently, we do have that, yung extended maternity leave. That's good. Buti na lang. Even paternal leave, we already have also. Sana na lang, ang wish ko lang sa universities is, kapag lady yung nag-apply for tenure, ay yung time na nakalib siya, hindi dapat i-include sa, uh, ano, sa uh, tenure time, time, time's up. Okay. Thank you, Director Lil. Meron po ba kayong insight about women's women becoming mothers and wives or otherwise so uh mother po ako wife po ako pero yung aking hindi naghinder sa aking journey actually nga silva nga ang naging uh, booster booster <laughs> people that surrounded me so for instance sa mga para may reality check for instance sa asawa ko uh, yung anak ko, mag-aasawa, mag iyak-iyak ako. Sabi sa akin, ano ko ba naman? Date na ang anak mo. <laughs> o di, reality check. Hiya naman ako, tigil ka agad ang iyak ko. <laughs> or sa, sa mga anak ko, sasabihin naman, mama naman, judgmental na yan ngayon. So it should be different. So mga barkada ko sila, na sila yung uh, siguro nag-enrich ng values ko. So, ah, uh, Yun ang tingin ko, hindi naman po naging hindrance, but rather they enrich my experience, my career, and so on. Doquina? May perspective ka, Doquina? Ako naman po ay na, nag, nag, <laughs> nag, uh, ex-wife. <laughs> ex-wife, uh, I have uh, three daughters, and siguro po, um, ang, ang medyo na, Meron pong ano eh, meron, sa, sa career ko po, nagkaroon po ako ng, ng kung baga stagnation sa career ko. Siguro mga, mga, at mga three to five years po na, na, na stagnate kasi nagkaroon nga ng ano, ng domestic um, issues, ganyan. And then, nag, nagpalaki ng ano, ng mga, ng mga um, anak. Pero ngayon po, nakaka-catch up naman na yung career ko. And it's primarily because of a supportive rin po yung mga anak ko. So, um, yung panganay ko po ay nag-graduate sa, sa Pisay SMC, Ma'am Lil. Yung, yung pangalawa ko po ay nag-graduate naman sa Pisay Main. And yung bunso ko po ay nasa UPIS ngayon. So, um, naiintindihan po nila yung yung work ko and yung mga travels ko po kapag kailangan ko mag-travel or halimbawa may, may mga engagements uh, naka nakasuporta po so i think it's it's um it's very important that 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 you have kamukha po nila ni Ma'am Lil na very supportive po yung ano yung yung um yung family yung immediate family kasi po uh, una sila Yung ito pong ano natin, ito pong field natin ay very um, demanding po in terms of uh, of time. Lalo na po yung mga nasa akademya, tiba po tayo, um, madami po tayong mga tasks, not only in terms of teaching, nagre-research din po tayo, tapos meron din po tayong extension. So, yun po, uh, kailangan lang po talaga ng very supportive na na ano na pamilya para yun po para makapag deliver pa rin tayo ng serbisyo sa ating mga estudyante at uh, sa community. Dean Rosan, bago mo sagutin ang question. Pwede ko bang i-tweak ng Conde yung question to accommodate one very interesting question from the F -ed, uh, F -ed, FB page. Uh, the question is from uh, Reina Nakino. Uh, is asking uh, about being a powerful woman on, on your, in your respective field. How do you handle and balance the quality time when it comes to family and your career as a woman leader? Siguro dugtungan natin ng ganong question yung ating uh, question earlier. Apo. Hello po. Okay. 
So, yung role mo na ng being a wife and a mother, uh, sa akin naman ng aking journey doon, siguro maswerte ako, I'm blessed because I married a very, very understandable and very, very supported supportive husband. So, I think that's the key of it, give and take. So, pareho kaming career-oriented people, hindi kagaya ng iba na si nanay, nasa bahay, or kaya si tatay lang yung nag-work, or ad vice versa. Kami pareho kaming graduate ng UPLB, and then talaga po kaming parehong background namin, parents namin, we were brought up na nagtatrabaho yung mga parents namin. So kami, nagtatrabaho din. So, being a wife, uh, sa akin, ang ginagawa ko lang from the very start, Pag Sabado at Linggo, ops muna tayo. Kasi kailangan kong gampanan yung aking mga gagampanang trabaho. Pag Monday to Friday at ako ay isang empleyado, gagawin ko yung aking trabaho bilang isang empleyado. And I, 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 I practice that ever since I was uh, hired as from... Galing din po ako sa rank and file. I, I, I rose po doon sa rank and file. And then my, my children, I think, they were used to it. So, pag nagbiyahe ka, kahit malayo, abroad, matagal ka doon, sasabihin mo lang sampung tulog na lang, kahit sampung buwan pa yan. And uh, I think, constant communication in the house, contact, uh, constant sharing of your achievements, little achievements, and uh, yung, yung appreciation and, and recognition of simple things that you achieve your husband achieve, your children achieve, and open communication. Talaga pong pinapractice po namin yung I love you before ano, going to bed, tapos yung hindi natutulog na pag may problema, ay kailangan pag-usapan. Yung mga traditional ba natin? So, a very supportive family, I think, would be the key. Uh, yung trabaho kasi, ay trabaho yan. And then, uh, napag-aaralan mo yan lahat-lahat as you grow young. Kasi younger, young guest ako eh. Young guest, younger, and young. So, pag habang ikaw ay uh, nagkakaedad, eh, napag-aaralan mo yung best practices. But of course, it will still be at the end of the day, you go home, you go home to your husband and to your children and to the house. So, iba po yung role ng asawa, ng nanay, ng housekeeper, ng labandera, ng nagluluto cook. So, so I think all in all, sa akin, in general, you love to do it. So, dapat tinitignan mo na lahat ng bagay ay gift. Blessing. So, kahit mahirap, blessing pa rin. Kasi hindi naman tayo i-challenge kung hindi natin kakayanin. Yes. Tapos pupunta ako, so hindi po siya naging hinder. Parati ko po silang winds, beneath, ano, the wind beneath my wings. The family is there. Yung sa, sabi mo na, yung second sa, ano, LD? Yes, yung, sige ma'am, kaya uh -oh. natin to. Hindi, an ano, yung, ano yung question? Sorry, Ay, yung white. Ma'am, what, uh, how do you manage to, um, how do you manage your time? Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, as I've said, uh, there is a time for work, there is a time for family. Kaya lang ngayon po ako yung nagiging din eh apat na oras na lang po ay kulang pa sa pagpipirma ng ano. Yes, sa kayo ay ang pupunta pa pag-aapro. Naintindihan ko po yan, ma'am. Pero ano, yun na nga, sabi ko, I think you have because you took the challenge, you accepted the position. I think you have to love it so that you will enjoy it. So, kung positive yung perspective mo doon, mas magaan yung trabaho kahit ganito pa yung pinipirmahan mo. Yes, Ma'am Jing, may thoughts po kayo? Idadagdag lang, idadagdag lang ako na observation na I think is true for most Asian countries na usually wala sa Europe or Americas. Meron tayong extended family. Pag kailangan umalis ni nanay for conference, nandiyan si Lola, auntie. So I think nakatulong yon as an Asian country na Chinese, uh, Vietnamese, Thai, ganun tayo eh. Yes. Extended yung family natin eh. Nay, pupunta ako ng Palawan for five days, may fieldwork ako. Pwede bang si Dave bang magbantay kay Aizen? 
Ayun. So, panatagal doob ko na yung uncle ng aso ko eh, siya yung mag-aalaga pag wala ako. Papakainin siya, palalakarin siya, ganun, kahit mag field direct ako. Last night, 10 p.m. na kami natapos ng student ko, nag-experiment nag kami. But panatagal doob ko kasi may magda-dog sit. So, apo. Uh, uh, hindi lang, uh, uh, ang women, hindi lang sila nanay, mother, or wife. Uh, they are also uh, fur mothers. At saka, ano yung counterpart sa, sa cat? Uh, something like, Basta for mothers, for moms. Anyway, uh, yung isa po nating question coming from uh, our um, advanced registrant, uh, Aisha Tolentino is a student. She's asking, um, what strengthens you during your lowest point as a woman? And how did you overcome these specific challenges every time you're starting to fall apart? Um, as mentioned earlier, women are empathic, women are broad, uh, have broad vision. May, may isang fallback yun eh. Um, may isang, isang setback yun, sorry. May isang setback yun. And that is, if you want to accommodate all of these things, medyo may toll yun, emotional toll. So my question is, what strengthens you uh, uh, during your lowest point? And if it is already becoming more difficult, how are you able to survive? Yes, ma'am. Dir Director Lil, simulan po natin sa inyo. Okay. Uh, you always think of purpose. Why are you doing this? Tapos, ma-realize mo, you still want it. So, dadaanin mo na lang sa kanin, sa drive, sa travel, etc., etc., diba? So, you treat yourself. Okay? So, so ganun po. Uh, yung, sa, yung sa family kanina, ako, I drop everything. Priority ko always family ko. So, when they are growing, kasama ako sa field trip, sa PTA meeting, lahat na lang masasamahan ko, kasama ako, present po ako doon. And then, when they grew up, ano, uh, sila na nagsasabi, Mama, pwede bang wag ka nang sumama muna? <laughs> so, so, yung ganun. So, so naging, uh, pagtapos, we spend time together, talaga mag-live ako for them. Pagtapos ngayon, naintindihan na nila kung bakit uh, ako nagstay ngayon sa Diliman, sila nasa Laguna or somewhere, magkakaiba na kami ng lugar. So, ano po, uh, nakafocus much of that time nasa work. And then we really spend vacation together. Uh, may comment lang po si OGC Director Fina uh, while we were discussing support system earlier and according to her, at the onset, the reproductive role that has been traditionally expected of women should have should now be seen as a shared role, which I agree. Many of the husbands are now taking a lead role in uh, domestic um, chores. And I know many uh, admirable husbands who are taking the uh, a fair share of the domestic um, responsibilities uh, to enable their wives to get the career that they also deserve. Um, and according to Doc Fina, this should not be carried alone by the woman as a wife or a mother. Uh, there is already, I agree that there's already a change of mindset and various support systems um, that enables the facilitation of these shared roles. Any comment about that, um, Doc Fina? Meron po ba kayong, in your support system of uh, your children and your extended family as mentioned by Ma'am Jing, um, do you agree that they are a major um, enabling factor to your success? Yeah. Um, yes, I, I agree. Um, I, I think yun po yung, yung, uh, yung siblings ko, yung mga natatawagan ko to, to um, have help pag halimbawa kailangan ko umalis or wala ako. And even ngayon po na, na meron akong two two fur boys, meron akong ano, isang shipu at isang uh, poodle. So, ang problema naman namin ay pag halimbawa magta-travel kami, yun po yung ano namin eh, na mag-iina, um, bonding time namin. Uh, we, 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 we get to, to go on a vacation pag halimbawa reading break or um, pag may long weekend po, yan, mag, magbabakasyon po kami. So, ang problema, di ba, sabi nga, uh, yung iba kukuha ng, ng, ano, ng dogs para may magbantay sa bahay. Kami po, hindi namin maiwan yung dalawang boys namin pag umaalis kami. So, we're very blessed then. I'm very blessed that I've found a very good uh, pet sitter. Uh, so, yun po, uh, sinusundo po yung dalawang boys namin kapag kailangan namin uh, umalis ng bahay. 
So, yun po, um, yun nga, kailangan talaga ng, ng, ng suporta, not only from family members, but uh, other, other, ano rin po, friends, and yun po, like yung mga pet sitters. Um, sige po. Another question from our advanced registrar, registrants, uh, Marion Eve Fontanilla. Uh, Marion is asking, what are your visions for the future of STEM education and career field in the country as a woman of science and as a woman leader? And how can STEM education aid in the progress of woman empowerment in the country? Uh, Director Lil, uh, bilang kayo po ay nasa high school and you're producing okay. scientists. So, so now uh, we are in the process of reviewing our curriculum. So ano magiging purpose ng aming curriculum ngayon? So we want to provide a future-proof education. So naranasan natin ang pandemic. We have to prepare our students to learn by themselves, which we are doing right now. So kahit na nagbalik kami ng pure in, ng in-person classes nung September, we did not drop our learning management system. We have to embrace the digital transformation. We have to embrace the digital technology that is provided to us. And as early as now, if we can improve on halimbawa, uh, students learning by themselves, that would be great. Because of the pandemic, nag-online learning tayo, parang ang, ang mga bata ngayon, parang agency sila. They have to own up what they learn. And that is what we're doing right now in our curriculum review. We want it to be future-proof so that our students will be able to shape their future and help others in this journey. And thank you, ma'am. Uh, Dean Rosan, any uh, comment? What is your vision for women in science and engineering? Uh, I think in the future, Dahil tayo ay nag-shift na din sa addressing the different challenges at dahil yung ating SDG ay sinasabi na magkakaroon ng equality among gender with all the frameworks and policies, I think in the future, mas madami pang kababaihan na may engage sa STEM. So, uh, how I wish uh, yung kababaihan could really express themselves uh, in terms of, uh, of course, science, technology, engineering, lalo na sa akin field, and then math. So uh, with, with the challenges ahead of us, uh, nakikita ko po na in the future, kahit 1.01 to is to 1 po ang ratio ng boys and girls ngayon in the world, eh, sana ganun din yung kanilang perspective. So, halong, halos one is to one tayo eh. Mas konti lang yung pinapanganak ngayon na babae. Pero almost the same in our birth rate. So, kung, kung ganun man, in the future, mag i tayo doon, eh, sana pareho po yung opportunities na mabibigay sa kababaihan. Gayun din sa kalalakihan. So, because when you talk of gender, it's not only the, the women, but also the men. So, uh, sa akin, sa Pilipinas, uh, sa ngayon na enjoy natin yung uh, equal opportunities. But of course, there are still restrictions when it comes in the workplace. So meron pa rin feel na second rate or kaya yung sexual harassment na sinasabi nyo or kung ano pa man na yung discrimination to women. Sana in the future ay... Uh, lalong mawawali ito, marerecognize yung kagalingan ng kababaihan the same way na narerecognize ng kababaihan yung kagalingan ng kalalakihan and they will be given uh, same opportunities be it in, in the education in the political system, in decision making and uh, uh, in the future yes, technology wise yes, thank Doc you Quina, what, do you, what are your visions for um, women in STEM in the future. It's, it's yeah, passion and um, more like a dream siguro na wala nang usaping ano, uh, gender gap na hindi, hindi na maging, maging issue or hindi na maging concern dahil pareho na ang, 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 pag, ang pagtingin sa kababaihan at sa kalalakihan not only in the STEM education or STEM field but in 
in in general so but um in the near future ang 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 sana lang po ay yun po yung opportunities in terms of um in terms of of uh, stem careers ay maging maging uh, pareho lang ang para sa mga kababaihan at kalalakihan and so ko naman po sabihin na yung sa ano pala yung sa um sa STEM strand po ng ating senior high school ay halos pareho lang po ang ang number of uh, girls and boys natin na pumapasok sa STEM strand. Ang nagiging nagiging um, difference na lang po ay pagpasok nila sa college na yun po yung nag, nagkakaroon na rin ng ng um, pag-iiba ng direction kung anong kung anong course ang kanilang kukunin. So yung gaya rin po nung pinakita ni Dr. Soriano kanina, hindi po nilalayo doon na talagang merong gender-based uh, na, na mga courses. So, sa chemistry, sa BS Ed chemistry po, mas marami pa rin po ang babae. So, uh, yun po yung napansin ko kasi ako po yung mahawak ng chemistry education program sa College of Education. So, sana po ay hindi na maging, ano, hindi na maging usapin ang 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 gender sa, sa STEM education. Yun po. Thank you. Uh, yes. Uh, thank you po, Dr. Quina. Ma'am Jing, vision po. Uh, uh, actually, paulit-ulit ko itong sinasabi tuwing natatanong ako tuwing ano, Women's Month. I long for the day na hindi na natin kailangang mag-celebrate ng Women's Month kasi equal na tayo. So, eh, pero hindi pa tayo equal. So, anong gagawin natin? Tingnan nyo, kukunti lang kaming physicist. So, ang kailangan gawin, i-erase yung number ng pwedeng physicists because essentially, kailangan lang talaga natin ng mas maraming scientists sa Pilipinas, scientists and engineers. So, what can we do? Uh, personally, I, I believe na kailangan magpakita ng lady role models. Kaya, pag may mga, may mga pagkakataon na ganito, pinapatulan ko yan, ma'am, open forum, ganyan. Thank you po, ma'am. Thank mga, you po. Ano, mga interview sa GMA, sige, fight. Uh, yung mga ganon, to put yourself out there. So, shout out sa mga lady scientists. Kung pwede, tulong kayo please to up the profile of lady scientists para mas maraming young people who will try and choose this career. And then, tingnan nyo, nung nauso yung, ano ba yun, si, 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 si Coco Martin, ano, yun, ano niya, yung police siya? Uh, eh, PJ, provinciano. Alam nyo ba, minsan, din nag-field work ako sa, ano, no, sa iba't ibang lugar sa Pilipinas, dahil yun sa research ko sa dagat, tatanayin ko yung mga, anong gusto nyo maging? Gusto ko maging police. Dahil nakikita nila sa media si Coco Martin as the provinciano. So what if we put ourselves out there in media and show na, or, or in social media na, oh, fun pala maging a scientist, hindi kailangan lalaki. It can be for girls too. So, iyan yung kailangan gawin para hindi, ko, hindi na, na next time I, I, I am invited to a forum about gender again and science and equality. I said, no, wala naman eh. Oh, yeah. no? Okay. Yung physicist, yung mga babae, lalaki, pareho na yun. Iyan ang dream ko. That in the future, we don't, we won't need to celebrate or uh, highlight a, a month for women. Thank you, Po. I have several other questions, but uh, in the interest of time, I want to ask this pressing question from myself. <laughs> uh, if you are to talk to your younger version of when you were 15 or 16, when you're choosing that career that will determine your lifetime as a career woman, would you, what would you have told your, what will you tell your younger self? Um, so n right now, after going through all those experiences, having the privilege, opportunity, challenges, facing all the difficulties, what will you tell your 15, 16 year old self? Would you have encouraged that young woman to go through the same career path that you'd, you've done? Sige po, Ma'am Jing, sa inyo muna po. Uh, I really just wanted to help. Iyon talaga yung reason kung bakit gusto ko maging doctor in the first place. It turns out pala that you can be anywhere you want to be and you can still fulfill that dream. Like for example, my research is physicist ako, pero the research that I do, I always insist na dapat may impact siya. That's why I go and ask um, marine scientists, ano po ang problema nyo na pwedeng masolve ng physics? And then we collaborate. And I'm sure that the end, at the end of this research, may gagamit ng research ko. 
So, kahit, uh, so yang yang maricor, ganito yan. Kahit saan ka man mapadpad, kung ano yung gusto mo talagang gawin, kunyari gusto mong tumulong, okay lang yan. Science is one, one field. Okay? And pwede sa science kasi kakunti lang ang scientist. So, punta ka doon. Stay there. Uh, Doc Mina. Ako naman po, uh, okay lang na nag, nag in ka muna. Okay? okay lang na hindi ka naging engineer. Um, yung fail, yung, yung fail, sabi nga is an acronym for first attempt in learning. So I learned so many things about myself when I was in the College of Engineering. And I appreciate what I am now as, as an educator, as, an, uh, um, as a teacher. Naging teacher po ako for 10 years sa UPIS. Naging uh, as, as, as a camp teacher for 10 years. Ngayon po ay nagtuturo ng undergrad, master's, at PhD level sa College of Education. Maganda na pinagdaanan mo yung, yung College of Engineering at dahil dyan, alam mo kung saan yung place mo para makatulong sa bayan. Yun lang po. Thank you po. Dean Rose Ann. If I were to go back and be at 15 and I will be again facing all the challenges that I had, ang tanong doon ay, meron ka bang babaguhin? Sa akin, wala din siguro. Kasi I enjoyed my journey. Uh, I enjoyed the bumps of my journey. Uh, Pagka-graduate ko kasi, uh, nag-board exam po ako, nung nakapasa ako ng board exam, Number five po ako sa board exam namin. Uh, di siyempre, high expectations ng parents ko. Pero sabi ko, mag-aasawa na ako. Baka iba maasawa ang boyfriend ko. Mag-asawa na po ako. <laughs> so, I married her early. <laughs> Tapos, uh, after a year, nagkaanak. So, I, I mean, like mom, uh, nag, ano siya, meron siyang mga downfall. So, dapat nasa AIT ako na nagma-masters, pero I've chosen my family. I've chosen my husband, and then I become a mother, I become a family woman. Pero I never regret anything. And then, uh, yung aking profession kasi ay, uh, if you compare that to other engineering professions, of course, it's one of the oldest, but still in UPLB, it's still the strongest, I think, because nandun po yung ating mga batikan. Because that's the first engineering program that was offered in UPLB. Pero, sabi ko nga, kung babalikan ko ngayon, and what we have now, yung ating mga issues sa sibuyas, sa rice, sa asukal, and it boils down to my field, the agricultural and biosystems engineering field. Because we are engineering the food systems, and so we are feeding the world. So kahit ibabalik mo ulit ako doon, and I will travel again the same, or it might not be different, pero at the end of the day, I love my profession. And I want to be, again in the future, my profession. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Director Leo. Okay. So kung ako ay 15 or 16 years old, tapos nanonood ako ng Netflix, nabuhay ni Lilia Habakon. Aba. Nakita ko sa sarili ko, uh, nakita ko na nag-guest siya dito at binasa niya to. Babasahin ko para kumpleto. Yes, we women are a package of values. We carry within ourselves the right blend of knowledge and experience that develops into wisdom through the years. A strong political will and a sense of holistic vision of what we want to pursue and implement gives a unique perspective to have the voice in decision making. It must be understood that the voice we earn is a reflection of our passion and commitment to do things right, to accomplish work efficiently, and to create opportunities for others to have their own voice. So, sasabihin ko nung 16, ay, gagayahin ko siya more than that pa. 
Thank Nakuha. you very much. Taray. <laughs> Taray po. <laughs> uh, gusto natin yun, ma'am. Um, I wish we have longer time. We'll do this again, right? Um, and I hope we have teachers here uh, watching us via Zoom, and we have deaf ed teachers here and teachers from uh, CDLB, Trace College, and other private schools around Los Baños. Uh, I hope that we learn something, how important it is to produce in the pipeline women scientists by encouraging young women to undertake science and uh, technology, engineering, mathematics, and um, agri-fisheries. Dapat daw kasi po kasama yun. STEAM daw pala yun dapat. Science, technology, engineering, agro-fisheries, and mathematics field. Um, so yeah, ulitin natin to, mas mahabang oras, mas maraming pag-uusapan. Um, maraming maraming salamat po uh, to all our resource persons and to the engaging uh, audience. I'll now return the mic to Bianca. Thank you, Dincha. Um, what an engaging and very empowering discussion from our brilliant speakers. Thank you very much, Director Habacon, Dr. Soriano, Sor Soriano sorry, Dr. Paderna, and Dr. Amongo. And now, the Faculty of Education is pleased to present the certificates and tokens of appreciation to our speakers. May we call on Dean Therese Reyes to please come forward to present the certificates and token of appreciation. The UPOU Faculty of Education presents this Certificate of Appreciation to Maricor Soriano for your outstanding contribution as a forum resource person on Filipino women leaders in STEM education held on March 20, 23, 2023 at the Audiovisual Room, UP Open University, Las Banos, Laguna. We extend our sincere express appreciation and gratitude for sharing your invaluable insight and experiences and for inspiring us through your hard work and dedication as exemplary Filipino women in STEM education. With na May we now also call on Dr. Lilia Habacon to come forward to receive the certificate and token. The UPOU Faculty of Education presents the certificate of appreciation to Lilia T. Habacon for your outstanding contribution as a forum resource person on Filipino women leaders in STEM education. Held on March 23, 2023 at the Audiovisual Room, UP Open University, Los Baños, Laguna. We extend our sincere appreciation and gratitude for sharing your invaluable insights and experiences and for inspiring us through your hard work, dedication, and exemplary Filipino women in STEM education. We would now like to call on Dr. Rosanna Marie Amongo to come forward to receive her certificate and token. The UPOU Faculty of Education presents this certificate of appreciation to Rosanna Marie Amongo for your outstanding contribution as resource forum 
as a foreign resource person on Filipino women leaders in STEM education. Held on March 23, 2023 at the Audiovisual Room, UP Open University, Los Baños, Laguna. We extend our sincere appreciation and gratitude for sharing your invaluable insights and experiences and for inspiring us through your hard work and dedication as exemplary Filipino women in STEM education. And now, may we present the certificate and token for Dr. Edwina Eleanor Paderna, the UPOU Faculty of Education presents the Certificate of Appreciation to Edwina Eleanor S. Paderna for your outstanding contribution as a forum resource person on Filipino women leaders in STEM education. Held on March 23, 20. Gratitude for sharing inval your invaluable insights and experiences and for inspiring us through your hard work and dedication as exemplary Filipino women in STEM education. Thank you. Let us now watch a video from Dr. Paderna. Bibigyan ko lang po ng context. The... Si Doc Quina Paderna po, being the Executive Vice President of uh, the Philippine Association of Chemistry Teachers, is inviting all of us through uh, Save the Date video. Uh, so, paki-extend po ang invitation na to sa inyong constituents uh, who will be interested to join and participate the, uh, on their um, event. Thank you. So we're inviting everyone to please come and join us. It's a face-to-face -face or in-person uh, Philippine uh, Association of Chemistry Teachers National Convention. It will be held on August 12, uh, 17, 18, and 19. Uh, the venue will be announced, but it will be in Manila. Thank you. Okay, thank you po. Pwede po kaming mag-request ng picture, Doc Quina, with you? Okay, sure po. Wait lang. Naunahan tayo nung tatlong ladies sa floor. <laughs> Sige po. Uh, picture taking uh, with the resource persons and Doc Quina. Isa to sa skills na nakuha natin eh. Paano mag-picture taking kasama yung audience nang hindi sila gumagalaw at yung mga uh, resource persons. One, two, three, smile. And thank you very much for. Uh, thank you for. Um, I will officially close the forum. I'd like to thank uh, everyone who participated. Us first and foremost are the resource persons. Thank you very much. Uh, you have a very busy schedule, but you accommodated us anyway. Maraming, maraming, maraming salamat po. Um, I'd also like to thank all our participants um, dito sa AVR. Um, the Colegio de los Baños uh, sent us uh, representatives, Trace College, UP Rural High School, uh, the DepEd School Districts of Los Baños, Bae and Kalawan. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong pagpunta dito. Uh, kahit po medyo malayo kami. Uh, we really appreciate you coming out of your way and joining us in person. So thank you po. I'd also like to thank all the um, viewers uh, through our uh, official YouTube uh, channel uh, with UPOU Networks and um, the Faculty of Education Facebook page. Maraming pong salamat for all the uh, for, for your uh, active participation in this forum. I would also like to thank the UPOU administration for supporting us. Uh, we, this event would have not been uh, successful without their uh, very kind support uh, to the Chancellor and Vice Chancellors of UPOU. Marami pong salamat. Marami din pong salamat sa Faculty of Education, uh, faculty, staff, and um, 
reps uh, for doing all the work behind the scenes. Ako lang po yung nakikita nyo dito, pero lahat po yung mga naka-green dyan sa tabi-tabi, sila po yung uh, nagtrabaho sa karamihan ng aspeto ng event na to. And many of us are actually women, uh, which I am very proud of. So, um, sana po, when we, uh, when our children ask us, anong career ang pwede kong gawin? Siguro yun yung isang question after this forum. Would you let your children uh, do engineering, math, chemistry, if you will be asked by your children, could I, could I do physics instead? What will you as parents tell your children? Um, wala po kong anak, but I've been asked several times kung okay lang ba na sila ay mag-math or mag-physics, or mag-chem. Of course, ang, sasabihin, ang sinasabi ko lagi is that you can do whatever you want. You can be whatever you want. Uh, just pursue whatever you feel would be good for yourself, um, especially if they are young women who are not confident in um, pursuing careers that are usually dominated by men. Uh, we are all persons regardless of our gender and um, I believe that we, given the opportunity and the support around us, we can be whoever we want to be. Uh, I, and with that, I'd like to formally close this event. I hope to see you in the next events of the Faculty of Education. Marami pong salamat. Um, we'd like to uh, further announce that the you, uh, that UPOU and the Faculty of Management and Developmental Studies ha are having the garden show at the UPOU multipurpose hub, a uh, multipurpose hall dyan po. Uh, traditionally, it's with the uh, UP Los Baños Social Garden, pero this year, we are very proud to host the garden show. Sa kanila po, galing ang aming very rare variety of Hoya, um, which are gifts to our resource persons. Doc Wina, ipapadala po namin sa diliman ang inyong tokens. Marami pong salamat. Thank you. Thank you po. Sorry, nakalimutan ko po ang UPOU mutay.